Welcome back to another episode of the Gundam Mobile Suit, The Witch from Mercury. How many L's can one man take before the redemption arc starts? I think it's pretty looking it's looking pretty bad for Quell. It's it, if I mean the first two losses, yeah, it was against Soleta. I guess maybe it counts as one total loss, but it's still two on paper, even though one was voided. Then we lose to Edan. And I'm here thinking this is a guy that I was kind of shitting on in the first episode because of how he was introduced. He was such a pompous douchebag thinking, I am the main duelist here and everybody reigns below me. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And then we beat him and then we take a fiance. I'm like, shit, things looking good. And now I feel so bad for him. His family fucking just gave up on him. His younger brother seems to be on his side, but right now it's not looking good for Mr. Quill. Not at all. Edan is quite interesting. So initially I thought that maybe some kind of airheaded uh, pretty boy that might be another love interest for Suleta. Not really. We did go on a date, but not, not even close. Like he's what's known as an enhanced human number four, meaning there's three others. Enhanced humans can basically operate the Gundam technology. But when he was operating, you know, Ariel, Suleta's, pilot, Suleta's mobile suit, it wasn't the same. He gets super disappointed because he thought for a second, someone like me exists, someone similar to me that I can relate to. It's like, you're not even nothing like me. And then the date's over. <laughs> Poor Suleta. Poor Suleta. It's okay. She has so many different love interests. And then the duel happens and he fucking loses. And I feel so bad for Guel. But believe me, believe me, <laughs> unless we're getting baited, it has to be the start. Like, we got to start from the bottom. We got to go hit rock bottom. And then the ultimate redemption arc for Guel will start. I hope soon. Let's begin today's episode. Senpai. They're witches. Why are they witches? Because they can create these mobile suits that eat up the pilot. The Ice Prince was not interested in anything romantic. Yeah. To check out Ariel. Punch him out, Choo Choo. Come on. It's nice to see that everybody is really on her side, though. The birthday keeps coming up. Yeah, Miyorina might be a little bit jealous. That's right. We have a duel against uh, Eran now. Why do we need to consult Miyorina again? Huh? Or I'm sorry, were you managing us? She is such a sin today. Well. Oh no! <laughs> Go you getting kicked out now? Alright, we gotta hit rock bottom, like I said. Where are we gonna go? Our house. With the normies. Join the farm. Huh? At, at least I'm paying your tuition. <laughs> I mean, true, I guess, but. Damn. Even cut off the first son because of the dual results. No, fuck the Jitark house. I wonder how compatible Eran really is with these Gundam tech. Just because he's enhanced humans. Yeah, exactly. So. Wait, what? Eran. Enhanced human four, meaning there's four Erans? Huh. This is a completely different personality, huh? Master Eran. How many Erans are there and who knows about this? I mean, my guess is that there's like, including the main guy, there's three other enhanced humans, unless. The main guy decided not to undergo the surgery. Just a double, okay. It's just a double. But I'm thinking, are there more doubles? Yes. He was kind to you without really caring about He did feed us, but it was all just a show. We got played. Yeah. We got played. Don't worry, you're learning. You're learning, Suleta. Don't worry. What? I, I, I'm thinking, she's so cool. She's so, don't worry, she's just being soon today, okay? Oh, come on. I know you like her. Yeah, you're using her lines now. Come on, Miyurine. See, she's trying to be supportive. She's trying to, like, rile Suleta up. But the way that she does it, it's like, yeah, you're fucking annoying. But don't worry, don't give up on hope. Okay, she's back. Nika's caught on? Mmm. Nika can read them like a book. It's not like I want to be your bride or anything. She has to win. Or else Ariel gets taken away. Also, she's the main character. Plot armor. <laughs> yes, you're really loud. This is a little bit annoying if you're just like sleeping. <laughs> Everybody can hear her. Everybody can the school... 
I, I mean, hey, this is gonna build up some hype. If ever. <laughs> oh my god, there's gonna be so much rumors going on. Guys, you didn't have to project to the entire school. Wait. The last time we heard this was when Suleta's dad was about to die and wishing for a happy birthday. A candle. Everybody can hear it, right? Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so embarrassed when she learns everybody heard. <laughs> okay. Go home. Stop embarrassing me. You don't have a birthday because you're a test tube baby. You're a clone. You're a double. I don't know. Huh. She's... There's a... You're about to duel and she just... She's so focused on this. Maybe, but she's such a good person. Yes, today will be your birthday if I win. Oh, more. All about himself. A little bit. A little bit. I, they're really pushing with Eran and Suleta, but I don't think there's anything romantic. I think she's just really interested. Alright, here it is. It's not about performance, nor about luck, nor skill. It's all about the results, baby. Show me the results. Yes, how you're a double teach us. He might die before he needs to tell us. Oh, he's telling us. Oh, yo, he's telling us. And that's truthful. Because he, there's nothing he can do about it, huh? So, he doesn't just accept his fate, he also despises his own... ...himself? For being in this situation? I thought that he might have just completely been fine about being a double. But he really doesn't want this. Then maybe there's hope for his redemption. But the more he uses his powers, like the meeting with the witch too, they said, this might be my last. I wonder how high his premise quarter can go. It's okay, it's okay. Even though he's countering us pretty well. Huh? Okay, no, we're still here. The gun bits. That's the little drone thing that's happening. Okay, okay. They're really OP. Like a small little thing that like goes around and just shoots a bunch of lasers. Is Gwil watching? Where from where? Where are you living? <laughs> it looks like he has a tent behind him. That's a lot of strain on your body. And still I can do this without having to sacrifice yourself. That's probably why. That's probably why, and, and, and on top of that, Slita also can hope and dream, right? Well, well, Eran right now, the double, he's just sacrificed for this. Which means, he's gonna die. He might just like self-implode at this rate. We might not even have to beat him. We might have to save him, honestly. We're looking pretty good, but now I'm feeling kind of bad, like... Is that I'm gonna die here? You know, as much as like an evil person Eran is being, I can't hate him for feeling the same way. Oh no, are we done? No, don't get, don't get zapped like well, no! Come on, you got something else, right? That's what we have on like well, I guess somehow EMP wave, fucking everything just gets shocked. The bot too! Will it just shut down? I don't know what happened, but we're a lot more OP than I thought. Hello? Suleta, is she out of her pilot? What is she- what are you seeing? It looks like she's just dancing around so casually. Let's not kill him, but uh... We won, we won, but I feel kind of bad for Anna now. <laughs> At least we saved Ariel. Good job. Ariel, you're OP. More synchronized. The more that she gets into it, the more better she can perform. The more she feels like Ariel is a living thing that she can talk to. Are you... You gotta... Wait. Are you gonna die? No, you're not gonna die now, are you? Hey, 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 come back. What is this light he keeps seeing? His birthday, the cake. I'm sorry, I completely destroyed your suit and beat you and just trampled you, but are you okay? I know she's being, I, I know she's so kind. Oh? 
was it? Was it a science? Was that your parent? So, suddenly, all of a sudden, just the character development by just smacking him, he reminded, he's reminded that, you know, there's some people that do cherish him. So let us here, man. You got something to live for, maybe. But holy shit, if we continue like this, this is going to be like the main shit. What the fuck? What about Quell? And what about muting it? I don't know. There's so many different options. It's not like I want to be your bride or anything. Some minor two-timing. Don't forget about Quell on top of that. Live streaming. Is everybody watching or just, you know, muting it? Results really is everything. And these, this higher council really does make all the decisions. So how many spares do you have? How many errands are there? And how many people know about this? This is so fucked. Ever since the dad said happy birthday when he was dying, now whenever I hear, I'm just haunted by it. Now when Eran's saying this while he's seemingly about to get disposed of, do you really need to just... Are they just about to incinerate him? No, they're not actually about to... What? I guess that's that, and we look forward to number five. Oh, she's gonna get stood up. It's not even. It's not even her fault. This is getting so depressing, dude. Man, I, I, all I had, all I had was kind of just a little bit of like anger and, and just hatred for Eran last episode about how she treated this Celeta and how he just. He just trampled on Guel, but but now you see his backstory. And before I can even feel like bad for him and try to root for him, he's gone like that. They just dispose. We didn't see, but it's heavily implied that he got incinerated at the end. I hope that the witch was able to save number four because she said that there's so much important data there. But though it seems like there's a bit of a conspiracy going on with how they ban gun them technology, but they're also developing it by themselves. And now they have all these enhanced humans. We're going to go to number five now and they're just experimenting. There's, I don't know. I don't know. And there's a revenge plot with mother that she hasn't told Solita anything about. And Solita just enjoying her day-to-day -day life. But I wonder how long can we have this little cheerful moments here and there. Things are getting pretty depressing. And again, the happy birthday when you hear that. Same thing from like episode zero. It's just damn. That's that song's not supposed to be depressing, but holy shit, it's it's getting it's getting a little bit heavy. But ugh, just get your seatbelts on. It's gonna get worse. If you stick around the song, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube go push out my small channel. If you recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.